Did you notice what happens in Luca when he falls off his bike and hits his head? He doesn't see stars circling his head, but anchovies. Why? Because he was told by Alberto that stars really are anchovies. You missed this in Star Wars The Force Awakens. When Han Solo and Chewbacca first arrive at the Starkiller base, Han drops his coat on the floor. Later on, when they're leaving the base, Chewbacca hands the same coat back to Han, which visibly confuses him. This is because it was actually an improvised move by the actor playing Chewbacca, which caught Harrison Ford by surprise. You missed this in John Wick Chapter 3. When John Wick finds himself in a museum, he mixes parts of various likely non-functional Colt and Remington revolvers to make a new working Franken revolver. This is actually a direct reference to another famous gunslinging movie. In The Good and the Bad and the Ugly, the character Tuco also combines the parts of several revolvers together in a gunsmith's shop to make his own custom revolver. You missed this in The Matrix. Everyone knows the famous green matrix code that appears multiple times throughout the series. The code, which is officially known as Digital Rain, has a surprising origin though. Look closely and you can see that the code isn't made up of letters and numbers, but what appear to be Japanese characters. These are actually hiragana, katakana, and kanji characters that the film's production designer took from one of his wife's sushi cookbooks and then modified in order to create the iconic digital code effect. I bet you missed this in Luca. When Luca and Giuliana are flying kites, did you notice the design? They're the same ones that Leonardo da Vinci invented for his flying machine, which he came up with 400 years before the modern airplane. Which Squid Game role wasn't actually part of the original story? The detective character wasn't in the script when it was still intended to be a single movie. Once it was converted to a series, he was created to help give more information about what was going on behind the scenes. You missed this in The Shawshank Redemption. Near the end of the movie, there's a montage of Red going to multiple parole hearings and in each one, his criminal file is stamped rejected. But take a closer look at the file. Not only do we finally learn that the character's full real name is Ellis Boyd Redding, but there is something very special about that photo in his record. The picture used for a younger version of the character is actually the actor Morgan Freeman's real-life son, Alfonso. Did you spot this in Home Alone? The pizza delivered to the McAllister's family comes from Little Nero's Pizza. Not only is this a play on the real pizza chain Little Caesars, but their slogan, No Fiddlin' Around, is a reference to the real Emperor Nero who supposedly played his fiddle as Rome burned. Did you know that in The Hunger Games, when Katniss begins to hallucinate and remember her past, all the coal miners have her father's face? Boss Baby has a connection to one of the most quotable movie scenes of all times. When the baby voiced by Alec Baldwin says, Cookies are for closers. It's a reference to the iconic scene in Glengarry Glen Ross when one character tells another that Coffee's for closers only. Who played that hotshot salesman that delivered the famous line? Alec Baldwin. Did you know that in Jurassic World, Chris Pratt carries this Marlin 1895 rifle? This weapon is the only version on their website rated for shooting a T-Rex. How is Elf connected to another of the most famous Christmas movies of all time? Take a look at this scene. Notice anyone special? It's Peter Billingsley. You might not recognize him now, but he played Ralphie Parker in A Christmas Story, the boy who wanted nothing more than a Red Ryder BB gun for Christmas. 